today I wanted to call this live, you know, the value of following your heart and listening to your inner voice. Like I said, the mobile boutique, you know, um, when I first came up with the idea about a year and a half ago, well, I, I got the idea. I was, I'm following someone on Instagram who I, who I really admire. Um, I, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I follow someone on Instagram who I really admire. She has a very successful business in Baltimore. And one day I went on her post. Thank you, Faye. I went on her post and, and I saw that she was transitioning her business to a mobile boutique. And that was my first time ever seeing it. And I, I said, what, what in the world? What is that? And, he, and it, I was very intrigued. So I did just a little digging and I came across a channel on YouTube that teaches you how to, you know, how to transition over to that type of business, that type of mobile business. And I said, wow, this is really, this is really amazing. Most of the trucks that I saw, they were in, they were in New York, they were in California, you know, um, not too many here in Maryland, not too many here in Baltimore. So, um, you know, I brought the idea up to a few people in my circle. I brought the idea up to some family and you know they 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 told you know the first thing that they would say to me is like that's that's a little weird i've never heard of that before i don't think you should do it the first thing you know um first thing that they said out of their mouth a lot of my friends thought it was crazy um i will say that you know there are a couple of people that i went to that they told me go for it my fiance dallas thank you dallas um hey pamela um I'm sorry, I'm trying to, you know, I'm learning how to look over and talk at the same time. Hey, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> all right, so, so uh, like I was saying, so um, there were very few people in my corner. And, um, you know, I, I thank the people that, you know, stood by me and that, you know, told me that it was an awesome idea because, you know, I. I needed that extra push and I got the extra push. It was what I needed and I'm, I'm so thankful that I did. So anyway, um, you know, I wanted to start it off, you know, just, I wanted to start it off just, you know, ju well, jewelry's always been a passion of mine. Selling jewelry um, when I was younger, you know, I would, um, I would wear like the plainest of outfits and I would always dress it up with my jewelry and my shoes. That's where my passion for the jewelry and colorful things and everything uh, came from. Thank you, Pamela. <laughs> Sorry, but anyway, um, I would always dress it up with like basic outfits and basic shoes and everything. Well, not basic shoes, I'm sorry. Basic outfits, but not basic shoes. Uh, I would always do it up with the jewelry and the shoes. And to me, I've always thought shoes and jewelry makes an outfit stand out. So it became, you know, became, as I was young, it became my passion. I like colorful things, bright things, oranges, reds, pinks, yellows, just everything just all mushed together. That's how it became my passion. Um, and, you know, at the time I was, you know, I worked a lot of retail stores and, you know, although day-to-day -day, um, practices of working in a retail store, it can become exhausting, but I still love the thrill of helping customers and just, you know, making customers satisfied, making customers happy and everything and um that's that's really where my passion that's really honestly where my passion came from and um thank you dallas <laughs> that's really where my passion came from so like i said um that was why i decided to go into jewelry most people have boutiques and they do you know they they'll sell hair or clothes or any or everything like that so the fact that i wanted to go mobile that i wanted to transition from online to mobile and I wanted it to be jewelry and not clothes. You know, um, people thought it was really crazy. And um, the more and more that I researched the topic of, you know, going, the more I fell in love with it. The more I would bring it up to people, and you know, and I, I've, I've had, like I said, I've had people tell me it was the craziest thing they ever heard. And you know, um, a lot of times, you know, those people, well, right now, those people are standing by because they're waiting to see what the outcome is, how, you know, how I come up with it. Yes, I love colors, Pam, Pam, colors, colors brighten up your day, all day. Bright colors, yellow, oranges, I love it. You know, nobody likes anything blank. Not, not less like one at a time, and even then, who wants, who wants black all the time? But anyway, <laughs> so, um, what I decided to do was, you know, just follow my passion, you know, follow my passion. That was the first step, just realizing what my passion was. 
and realizing, okay, this is what I, this is what I, this is what I, I can't get enough of. I can't get enough of buying jewelry. I can't get enough of buying different earrings and different colorful necklaces and, and unique pieces. I can't get enough of. So that must be my that must be my passion. That must be that must be my 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 passion passion. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jump on this. And like I said, um, um, what I and I started that passion by doing a little bit per day. Hi, Yolanda. Robin, that's right. You go for what you know. Hey, Janetta. Be more. Hey, Silver Spring. What's up? <laughs> but um. Like I said, uh, I was I would start by doing a little bit a day. You know, the first thing I had to do was find a truck. I had to find the actual house. You know how I was going to house the jewelry. Um, and I researched this group more. I researched the group that I was in more and more and more. You know, and I would take notes. You know, I, I work at I work at Johns Hopkins. For those of you who are familiar with the hospital in Baltimore, and um, and I. Every day I would listen to these podcasts and these group and this group, and I would take notes. I mean, even if it was stuff that I had no idea what they were talking about at the time, I still wrote everything down. That was me taking a step a day until I was comfortable enough to get to the point where I said, "Okay, now I'm ready to jump in it full force, nonstop, and make it work." Right. So, um, uh, let me see. I bought my truck. Let me, well, well, after taking you know taking as many notes and everything as I did, I would also I would look on Craigslist for trucks just to get an idea. I would look at the descriptions of the trucks just to get an idea what I need to ask for when I'm ready, you know. Um, so when it came time for me to buy the truck, I knew what I wanted. I knew what to say to the seller. This is what I want. This is what I'm looking for. Do you have it? Can I? You know, I, I learned to negotiate. Um, you know, does the truck have this? Does the truck have that? You know, and um, yes, Pamela, when you follow your passion, things always work out. They always work out. A lot of times people may plant the idea in your head that, you know, that's crazy. That's a crazy idea. Don't you dare do that. Don't do it. It's never going to work. But something I learned at a young age, if people don't laugh at your goals or if people don't doubt your goals, your goals aren't big enough. So. I kept that in the back of my mind as I told everyone what I wanted to do. And the more people laugh and for, for example, um, my fiance, he's the owner operator. He drives tractors and one, he drives tractor trailers. One of his drivers, I told him what I wanted to do. And he, he, he told me specifically word for word. He said, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. And I said, Oh really? <laughs> and in the back of my mind, normally a person, you would listen to that and say, wow, he said it was pretty dumb. Maybe I shouldn't do it. In the back of my mind, I said to myself, he told me that was the dumbest thing that I could ever do. So you know what that means? That means that I definitely need to go ahead and do this. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to prove him wrong. And guess what? That same guy that told me that helped me gut out my truck. And guess what? It changed from that is a, it changed from that's the dumbest thing that I've ever heard to I can't wait. Till you get done this truck because I want to see what the inside of this truck looks like because I've never heard it before. It sounds so exciting. And I knew because I knew, you know, that he already doubted me to the level that he did. Just like most people, I knew that I need to really get into a full force. This is definitely a good idea. So that's what I always tell people. You know what I'm saying? If no one laughs at your goals, then your goals aren't big enough. If no one doubts your goals, your goals are definitely not big enough. Um so back to what I was saying about the little bit of day, a uh, little bit of day, I would, I would go on Craigslist. I would take notes. And when it came time to, um, to figure out what I wanted, you know, I, I knew what to ask for. And last February I came home with my, with my truck and I negotiated a good price. <laughs> I negotiated a real good price, but anyway, so I brought the truck home from Virginia and, um, I got back to Baltimore and <laughs> That was one goal accomplished. Okay, yeah. So, whew. so you know, I kind of sat in front of the truck and I said, wow, I have my own truck. And then after that, I said, wow, what am I going to do next? Okay. Although I had notes, but it was still an over, it was a great overwhelming feeling. I'm sorry. It was a great overwhelming feeling. You know, it felt good. 
um, which also let me know that I should keep going. Um, so many times I hear people, another thing I wanted to mention is so many times I hear people, like for instance, in my full-time job, you know, Monday morning, you know, they just walking in the building and say, oh my goodness, is it Friday yet? You know, and that, that is another thing that gets under my, that's another thing that gets under my skin. I don't really say it too much to them, but you know, I tell people, be thankful for the time that you're in. You know, if this isn't what you want to do, find out what your passion is. What is your what is your passion? Everyone, everyone on the planet Earth has a passion. Everyone on planet Earth has something. Has they have a hustle? Everyone has a hustle. There is no way. There is no way that we were meant to work nine to fives our entire life and just and die. There's no way. Everyone on this earth was meant to fulfill a passion, to fulfill a purpose. You know what is your purpose? Find your purpose. Find your passion. And like I said, take a step at it a day, because that little step that you take is going to turn into a mountain. It's going to, it's going to turn into a, a mountain. You Next thing you know, you've accomplished so many steps. You've accomplished so many things. And you'll be amazed at how far you've come. Trust me, it is a great, it is a great feeling. All right. So that lets, that leads me to the, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, I kind of jumped in a little bit early, but <laughs> I can jump into it a little bit again. But, um, so like I said, that, that inner voice, following that inner voice, you know, when people would tell me that's the dumbest thing I'm, I've ever heard, um, you know, uh, and sometimes it was family too. Family would tell me, I don't know about, I don't know about this. Maybe you should just, you know, stay at your nine to five. Well, how are you going to, how are you going to do that? Like nobody's ever heard of that. Just because you've never heard of it doesn't mean it's not a great idea or doesn't mean it's not, a, you know, it's not a good idea. So eventually what I had to learn to do was I had to learn to mute those negative voices i had to learn and teach myself to mute those you know mute that negativity mute those voices out every time somebody well i don't know eh, i don't want to hear <laughs> well that is the craziest thing eh, eh. but still i hear what you're saying <laughs> you're laughing and you and you doubt me so i'm gonna prove you wrong but still i ain't trying to hit it ain't i got time ain't i got time for that <laughs> so but like I said, I had to learn how to mute those voices out, you know, mute that negative, negative energy out. Um, and uh, I stay out and, I, and I, that helped me over time to stay focused. And now it's to the point where I can't get anything out of my head. I, I can't think of anything else but my truck. Like tomorrow I'm, I'm working on it and I'm so I'm like, you just have no idea how excited I am to work to work on it and work on this tomorrow. And I can't wait for you guys to see the finished product. But anyway, so, um, and, and that, that family, you know, that, that what I mentioned about family, sometimes, you know, when you, when you want to follow your passion, you want to do something that may be a little unheard of or, you know, not, not deemed normal, you know, from, uh, not when you want to follow your passion and do something that everyone might not seem is, might not think is, is normal, um, I, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry, but basically, what I was what I was trying to get at was sometimes your most obvious supporters, people that you think should definitely be supporting you. Sometimes those are the least. Sometimes that's the least supportive group. Those are the least supportive people. So you ha definitely have to prepare yourself for that as well. Um, definitely prepare yourself for you know, like I said, you you may expect your mother to. Oh yeah, she's going to support me because that's my mother. My mother supports everything I do. Your, your mother may not may not be digging it, you know you gotta be prepared for that because it can affect you in ways that you don't even realize until it actually happens, right um, so like I said um, I had to learn how to mute all, all those things out one thing so one thing that I learned to replace with the negative um, with the negative uh, comments and the negative thoughts and everything was I learned about affirmations and I learned to, um, I, you know, I'd be, when I was doing all my research on the truck and everything and just my business period, I learned to, you know what I'm saying, just, I learned about affirmations basically. I learned what they, what they are uh, and for those who, I don't know, I'm, I don't know if maybe everybody here is familiar with affirmations, but basically a, a, a affirmation is emotional support. You know, when you support yourself, you know, you may have signs up 
everywhere in your house you may listen to videos every day for me i listen to videos every day to get me pumped up you know because sometimes i may i may be feeling a little down you know what i'm saying i may not feel like working on the business online i may not feel like working on the truck i may not i, I may just feel like i don't know i might not feel like going to work that day you know whatever affirmations always always get me to that point they always help me get to that point um i mean you can find them you can print it's as simple as just writing something down and putting it on your wall writing something down yourself when you're having a good day writing it down putting it on the wall going to youtube um going online with everybody's so fixed on social media nowadays that it's easy to let the negative take over but um i think it's very important it's very important to encourage yourself every day to self-motivate because nobody's going to motivate you like you motivate yourself nobody's going to push you to that point like you're going to push yourself to that point right so like i said affirmations are very important uh you gotta you know you gotta give yourself the extra push that extra that extra you know jab that extra whatever to get yourself going whatever it whatever it takes and once and that's a positive energy once people around you see that you know no matter what you're gonna make this work you feel good about it you feel good about yourself or whatever it is that you're doing that day then eventually they eventually they'll tag along you see what you feel what i'm saying so um honestly that's really it um basically just you know in order to follow your heart you gotta start by following your passion you gotta do a little bit every single day to get to that point um to get to that 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 mountain um you have to listen to your inner voice. You have to, you know, you, you have to realize that you're going to have doubters and naysayers. You have to learn how to mute the naysayers out. You have to learn how to, um, you have to learn how to re- mute the naysayers out and replace those naysayers with just positivity. Just, just you know, po- positivity. Just, it's, it's not hard at all. It's very easy. And um, you'll be a lot farther. You'll be a lot farther in life with whatever your goals may be. You know, you may want to start a business. You might not want to start a business. You might not. You might want to dye your hair purple. That purple. You know what I'm saying? It's listen to what your heart is telling you. <laughs> listen to, you know, listen to what your inner voice is telling you, and cut the negativity out. Just leave it out. If it were for if if it were for us, listen to all negative uh, comments and negative thoughts. Whatever we would we wouldn't be anywhere in the world. So. Um, That's basically it. I'll have uh, more information as I get closer to my grand opening date. And if you're in another state, if you're not in Baltimore, then um, I'll definitely have enough pictures online. I'll definitely have uh, enough, you know, I'll I'll, I'll have a lot of promotion leading up to the event. But um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram page is your Zori Boutique. It's U Z as in Zebra, U-R-I Boutique. And my Facebook is the same, Yazori Boutique. I look forward to sharing um, more with everyone as time goes on. I've enjoyed the Girl Power Ignite Live so far. Everyone's been great. And I I hope that I've done this group justice today. And um, if you have any questions past it, you know, after after I log off, feel free to inbox me, whatever. I, I don't care. I'm very, I'm very open. Dallas knows that. <laughs> site but anyway um it's been good sharing with you guys i thank you you guys like i said again for tuning in so so very much you have guys helped me you guys have helped me loosen up a whole lot so our next live um i'll just do it with the breeze it'll be nothing next time i promise you (laughs) but anyway thank you guys enjoy your friday enjoy the weather outside it's beautiful outside i know it is especially in miami but anyway enjoy the weather enjoy just enjoy your life enjoy the day and much much success to every single one of you who are tuned in thanks bye bye